Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jolie, and we're going to be reading a little time for myself. So grateful that you're here. And October 2nd, October 2nd. So it's October. So why not? Why not wear orange lipstick? <laughs> so, so orange. I even used it on my eyes. Like, oh, let's put a little here, there. I'm not sure. I just figured, well, you know what? I bought it because it was different. And I don't know. It almost looks like I ate some like Cheetos or something. <laughs> Sorry. Does it look like I ate Cheetos? You could tell me it's okay. All right, so how are you guys doing? Doing better. Went to uh, work today. So that was something. And I spent time with my kids. That was something. And then I saw, I don't know, I was scrolling and I was like, oh my God, that's, my mind is going crazy. And, um, just about how crazy the world is. Um, I know that it's it's always crazy depending on where you are, but doesn't it seem like it's like one of those videos when you watch and there's like all kinds of crazy stuff happening all at the same time, but it's it's so much where you just go, holy shit. And um, I hope that doesn't sound terrible, but I'm just, I'm just really, I feel like it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's grounding because everyone has something going on in the world. Everyone has, no matter who you are, as a human, we all have shit. We all have good stuff, right? We all have the good stuff if we're able to see it, if we're able to realize it because we're in our head, right? But when we really have this shit, the shitty stuff happening outside us and we can't avoid not seeing it, that's like, um, I don't know, for me, I'm thinking, I'm feeling like that's when you can't, dispute it there's no like oh it'll be fine oh it's gonna you know like it's it's all gonna work out like there's there's times where you go like maybe it's just not gonna work out do you, you relate to that maybe it's not gonna work out and I'm I have to change the way I do things or I have to change my life because it's been the rug has been literally swept out from underneath and there's nothing left but your body and your mind I just feel like the world is going through this sweep so I don't know that's not why you're here but that's just what I'm gathering um, like from the world and I can relate to it because what happened when I was uh, uh, in the Hurricane Ian and how devastating it was for us, but that's nothing compared to what the hell is happening all over some of the states here, like Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. I mean, how? How is that? What is going the F on? And I'm like, well, not i mean there, you know things happen in california with the fires and stuff but like this was this is just so like no one's used to that so this is something this is a new normal maybe and it's really i just don't like i don't even know what to say other than 
for the small ounces I've felt in my life. I can't even imagine that. But I know like when you do go through something like that, that you just keep going. You just realize, okay, this, this is, this is how it is. And I'll figure it out somehow. So anyhow, heavy, heavy stuff now. Started off with the crazy orange uh, Cheeto lipstick and then roll right into the uh, what's happening in the world. So, I mean, if this is affecting any of you, I'm really, you know, I'm feeling insane prayers and um, as small as it sounds, you will be okay because you are okay. No matter what things outside of us, we can't control. Maybe there's something out there controlling it, but we can't like, we can't stop what already happened. So pray, pray about that. All right. So here we go. Page two, six, uh, 276 starting to read. Before Al-Anon, before recovery of any kind, fear was my constant companion. Fear of making mistakes, fear of commitment, fear of being hurt, fear of reject, being rejected or abandoned. Yes. So as Al-Anon members welcomed me, as AA welcomed me, as my heart began to heal from the pain of the past. I felt the call to let go of my fears and let love direct my life. I learned to keep focus, keep, I learned to keep my focus on myself, to trust people, to put faith in my higher power, to listen, to share, to show up, to help out and ultimately to trust myself and my goodness. Step four is another opportunity to walk toward love. When I make a searching and fearless inventory, moral inventory, when I make searching and fearless moral inventories, I am grounded, I am grounded in a set of principles where love is my higher power. With love as my guiding light, I begin to explore all of me, all of my mystery, my passion, and my secret spaces that make up the unique person I am. Today's reminder, love is stronger and bigger than fear. And so am I. With love and support, we find in recovery and the meetings and the books and all that. We are able to recognize and accept who we are. Meetings are important because meetings bring a, a vital connection that is important to our humankind. So, um, Question of the day, what positive things have I learned about myself since working in recovery? Focus on the positive things about yourself. Know that you, you can trust yourself. I mean, talking about what's going on in the world and, and um, the East Coast, I mean, all these things. There's, there's also like those, like, like serious physical traumas and like, um, life threatening things that change you. They, they, they settle into like the cracks where we are and we can, we become more of who we are. So what 
it's hard to, to say. We can, um, we can pull out of it, we, but we do become more of who we are. And um, a lot of times it, it's a wake up call to where we say my life has become unmanageable. Right? So that's when we need recovery physically or mentally like in Al-Anon or, or like, you know, drugs and alcohol, but a physical thing too, like a traumatic thing that's happened in our lives, losing a home, losing, um, losing things. There's a grieving pro pro process in that and it takes time. And, um, I mean, we all know this, right? But I just want to say that we all have our stuff. And, you know, we have all the choices to make. And, but, um, I mean, I really don't know what else to say that other than um, being able to really uh, siphon out what you need and what you don't need is what happens, what has happened in my life during hard crash times. I was like, okay, I'm not holding on to this anymore because it, it, like a relationship or um, addictions, trying to find things on the outside to fill me, mm -hmm. uh, all broke apart because of huge major things that happened in my life. So, um, and then coming out the other side, thinking that there's no, like it can't get any worse, but, um, and then, you know, you come out the other side and you do your, the best you can to surround yourself with people who can support you emotionally, physically, and sometimes you need help financially. Uh, and, um, I mean, well, I love you and uh, I will be here to read. That's what I can do. I can be here and um, read and um, say, all right. So I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. So you go. And um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I will put the step work um, that I read in here. And so you can easily find it as well as um, thank you for joining. Thank you so much. It's like an extra hug for me. And um, I really appreciate it. I'm going to hug you back. And um, yeah, thank you for also commenting. I would just, I don't know if anybody has anything to say, like if, if you're in any of those areas, um, love to hear from you. Okay.